Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be checking out the B-Link Expand M and what makes it so special. So let's get started. What I have in my hand is called the B-Link Expand M. And what this is, is a USB expandable hub along with the SSD storage on a USB-C. Originally, I planned to buy this for myself, but this was out of stock. I used a little bit of my influence to reach out to B-Link to see when was one gonna be available or if I could purchase it directly through them. And they ended up sending one for me. Now, I only just got this about two weeks ago and I've been talking to them since August, so this is months already that I've been wanting to get this. Original thought that I was gonna use this on was the Raspberry Pi 4 when I was gonna do the Windows 11 install. I was actually gonna plug this into the USB-C and also use this as the storage for Windows 11. But since it took so long to get here, I wasn't able to make that video. But instead, this was something I still wanted for my laptop because it is expandable storage and it's something that I needed because as you know, laptop these days, they're kind of locked into the NVMe with like one terabyte. You'll get lucky if you want to pay for the two terabyte. But again, if you're going to use video editing and stuff like that, you do definitely want some expandable storage. Along with that, this also does come with USB-A. So this is also a hub. Now, I'll talk about all the good things and the bad things, but let's start off with the price. This is $42. Obviously, it doesn't come with the SSD. So that's just an additional price you're going to have to pay depending on the size you want. Maximum size you could fit on this is 512 and the maximum speed you could get on this is 440 megabytes per second. Now since I only have I think a Weston Digital Blue on here which is more of a slower SSD on here. Um, when I'm running my speed test I was getting about 330 so it's not slow by any means and that is more than enough for me to edit videos but yes you could go a little bit faster and get up to 440 if you want to buy like a Weston Digital Black. Uh, for this guy. Now I also tested this with the USB 3 because that's what it supports as well. So I stuck in a 128 gigabyte Samsung um, USB 3 thumb drive and I tested the speed on that and I was getting about 120. I did a second test later on and it was 133 but uh, the screenshot that you see is 120 on the read and yeah that that's the that's the speed for that USB 3. So that's pretty impressive as well if you got a USB 3 dumb drive. So to talk about the construction of this this is built on a metal case so this is very durable. You could drop this and you might get a ding or two but it's not going to damage anything internally and believe me I abused this already in the past two weeks because this is um, fairly easy for me to drop, especially if I have it hooked up to my laptop, I just, you know, bang it around. Now, as far as the USB-C that is built on here, it does do power delivery. So if you got a laptop that uses USB-C for quick charge and everything, this will support it. It also has two USB-A's for USB-3 connections, so it does get that full speed. And in the back, it has an HDMI port. And that is supported for the DisplayPort USB-C or the Alt Mode, if you want to call it. Now this laptop that I have right over here is on the older scale. So actually the USB-C that's built into here does support 3.1, but doesn't support DisplayPort or the alt mode. So I wasn't able to test this out on this laptop, but it's future proof because the next laptop I'm getting will have that support. Now it does have four screws wrapped around the side of this guy where you are able to take apart and install your SSD. It's fairly easy to take apart, so you're not gonna have any problems with that. And what makes this guy so special is this little button that's on top, which is the M mode. Now, when you plug it in, it just operates as a hub. So it's going to be a blue light in, at start. And that only draws very little power, as you can see over here. Now, as soon as I plug it in and turn on the M mode for the SSD storage, you can see it jumps up. Now, what makes that special is because normally if I don't need to use the SSD, I don't need to draw that power. And on a laptop, everything that runs on battery you want to save as much power as you can so being able to disable the ssd from running actually helps it a lot especially if i just need to use the ports for either hdmi or for you know the extra usbs turning it on still gives you the hub mode and also the ssd so you get best of both worlds but you do have that power draw now as far as the heat on this guy it does create a little bit of heat so if you take a look at this 
uh, when you do have the SSD on, it does create like almost 30 degrees Celsius through the porch, you could see. So it does get a little bit warm. So if you are using this, make sure it's not tucked away somewhere. It does have holes on top for it to breathe. So just keep that in mind when you are using the SSD, it will need to have some sort of heat dissipation so it doesn't overheat. Otherwise, I really like this thing. I've been using it for the last two weeks. I edited a couple of videos off this on my laptop when I was on away from my house. And this was basically a little bit of a lifesaver instead of using one of these USB 3.0 um, thumb drives to edit off because obviously you get triple the speed using SSD. Now, as far as their website goes, you could actually purchase this with SSD or without. Uh, maximum size it has is 512. I actually honestly do not have anything bigger to plug into here to test if it will go up to one terabyte or two terabytes, but 512 for me is more than enough to fit a couple of games on here as well as uh, videos that I'm editing. So this works out just pretty good for me. For the overall cost, like I said, $42 is actually a pretty good buy if you're getting a USB hub, the HDMI, as well as a slot to put your SSD. So yeah, it's pretty good. Anyway, uh, that is it for me for for this video. I know it's a short one. Um, it was something that I wanted to review and use months ago, but this finally came to my doorstep and I should and definitely review it because I thought this was a really good item. Um, I do want to say Happy New Year's to you guys because end of 2021 and now beginning of 2022. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.